Peter. Sharon, where have you been? I've been trying to reach you for months. I'm fine. That's all I get? Yeah, I'm fine, okay? That's really all you have to say to me. Yeah, what do you want? A real explanation. One day everything's good between us, and then... I know you went through a lot because of what happened with your brother. And you shunned me because of me and Ty, and... I don't care about that trash. I'm just worried about you, okay? I know grief comes in waves and it's very overwhelming. Worrying about me is wasted energy. I'm alive. Nobody cares about what happened to my brother. The police find the killer yet? No, but I know who did it. Who? Gary killed Sebastian. Gary? Yeah. Gary? A, a killer? I know he's a little Are you calling me a liar? Yeah, yeah. I mean, no. I mean, look, I know Gary. He's, he's strange, but I don't think he's a killer. Yeah, I know him too. He was my patient, remember? You have no idea what he's capable of. Did he hurt you? I won't give him the chance. I'll kill him first. Sharon, do, do you hear yourself? If you don't believe me, you can get out of my face and out of my office. You know what? I'll leave. Sharon, Sharon, Sharon. Give that to me. Why do you have a gun? It's for protection. In case he comes after me next. How are you so sure Gary did this? Because he did. Do you have proof? Can I trust you? Yeah, of course. Then have a seat and I'll tell you everything. I was putting Gary under hypnosis to help him. During our last session, he said Sebastian's name and when he woke up, I, I asked him how he knew my brother and he, he taunted me like, like I'd made it up in my head or something. Maybe... Maybe what? How would they know each other? The, the school that they could have met on campus or, or Gary could have been Sebastian's professor. Is there a way that you could get a list of, of Gary's students last semester? Can you? Yeah, I could. But I have to be really careful though. That information is only privy to the department chair. Did he talk about anyone else besides Logan? Uh, the only other guy he talked about was for a threesome for his birthday. He never gave me a name though. You think it could be Sebastian? Yeah, it, when Sebastian broke up with Ty, he started seeing somebody new. It, that person has to be Gary. Even if they hooked up, that doesn't give Gary reason to kill him. Are you listening to anything that I've been saying? Gary says Sebastian's name, and then days later he's found dead. What do you think is actually wrong with Gary? As a doctor, I, I have my feelings, but... I don't want to blame it on that. You haven't heard from him, have you? No, I haven't heard from him since he moved back to Philly. He left town? Yeah, he's been gone for a few months. I, I thought you knew. How would I know that? You see me, it's okay. I'm give it to that guy. Why? I want you hooked on that shit. Yes, daddy. Alex, if you're gonna be around me, I need you in your right mind. Yeah. Whatever. I'm fucking serious. Okay? 
Don't fuck up what we got going. Alright, you're getting way too controlling. And I don't like that shit. I don't care. Either you stay, or you get the fuck out. Hmm. You're a jerk. I'm sure I like jerks. When are we getting out of Easton? I told you. I got to have some loose ends. I've been saying that for months. This town hates me. Me too. He gave our boss a certified medical note requesting emergency leave. Thought it was from you. Forged letter. Wow. Look, I, I don't know if it was from you, but he said that you said he should go be with his family. It wasn't from me. I've been looking for Gary for months. Where's Logan? Last I heard, he moved back to Philly, too. Maybe I could go to his apartment. Maybe I could find something. What is going to his apartment solve if he's not even there? He leaves town and you question my right to be suspicious? Just give me the damn address. Uh, I forgot the street name. Well, haven't you been? No, but I remember it's the big building that used to be Millionaire's Row. Gary told me some rich guy owns it. I um, used to know somebody who lived in that building. I can't possibly be. Be what? Nothing. What's the address? Uh... The apartment number? Don't remember the apartment number. But when you get off the elevator on the ground floor, you make a left, and it's the last one on the end. Apartment 24. I think. Alex and Gary live in the same apartment at the same time. Isn't Alex that fucked up guy I used to deal with? Yeah. What does he have to do with it? You gotta go. I'm drained. Sharon, I see how much pain you're in. Just don't let it take over your life. Pain is a way of changing a person. Murder is allowed to walk around free. Where's the justice? I just wish you would allow me to be there for you. I'm sorry. I just need to be alone. Away from family. Solitude. Is best for me, right? Sharon, just please be careful. Thank you. Jabril, I need to see you. I was surprised to hear from you. How are you- Why didn't you tell me Gary lived in Alex's old apartment? I didn't know I had to report to you. My brother's dead. And you didn't think you had to tell me something like that? Sharon, oh, I understand grief all too well. But they cleared that man. You have to let this go. <sighs> Easy for you to fucking say. You have no idea what kind of person Gary truly is. Do you really think Gary knows what happened? I knew for sure that he did, but now this Alex connection, he could have killed Sebastian to hurt me. Alex didn't kill your brother. <sighs> You're gonna defend him after all that he's done? Unless... <sighs> now what are you implying? Alex came to my office the day of the murder. He told me that you had held him captive for months and tortured him. I didn't believe him then, but seeing your reaction, I'm starting to now. Sharon, I want to start believing the words of a sociopath, not to mention a professional liar. It takes someone to know one, doesn't it? Look, don't get too carried away with your conspiracy theories. 
The timeline doesn't add up. Your brother's body was found days after he was murdered. I know your family secrets, and I know the lengths that you people will go to to protect your own. You're no saint either. You're housing two men who are capable of anything. Sebastian's blood might as well be on your hands too. The police connected all the DNA. Nothing matched up. Perfect crime. Have you shared all these suspicions with the detectives? Do you think I've been sitting on my thumbs doing nothing? They said he was clear. Then I think that's something you're going to have to live with. Look, if there was something else I could do, I would, but I can't. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, I bet. I didn't know men like you gave out apologies. One is warranted. Look, if I find something else out, I will let you know. I'm going to hold you to that. Look, obviously, Gary has some personality flaws, but I don't think he's a murderer. Would it, would it be too much trouble for you to give me his ex Logan's number? I can't give that information out. It's really important that I talk to him. Look, to give you some reassurance, I'll see what I can do. I would appreciate it very much. What are you staring at? Blow me. I'm pretty sure I drained it all out last night. I said. I think I can get another drop. Close your eyes. Close it. games. That was too much. Relax. I will after I catch my breath. I was passed out. I guess I was supposed to wait for you to come too, huh? Yeah. You're something else, not in a good way. I've heard that from time to time. Yeah, so maybe go see a fucking psychiatrist and get your shit checked. They're just as fucked up as the people they pretend to help. Therapists are a waste of breath. Yeah. I used to be in love with one, until she turned on me. Is that the one that you and that guy shared? It was a lot deeper than that. I don't like sharing anything with anybody. That was stupid. We were in love. For us. It was all good until Lorenzo decided to convince her that he was the good guy. And then what happened? Remember when I said I lived in Argentina? Yeah. Well, shit got crazy and I can't go back. <laughs> so somebody's got you shook? Nobody's got me shook. We're all one for questioning. If one of us goes down, we all do. So where are they now? Lorenzo is... God knows where. Sharon's here in Easton. She's running cockamating practice. Sharon sounds like a real dumb bitch. She's a bitch. She's not dumb. I shared your turn. Another time. No, no. I said no. That's not fair. I know you have a few skeletons in your closet. Listen, Mom. You and I, we fuck. 
That's it, we have fun. It's been months, give me something. No! Family, brothers, siblings, what? No, you're so fucking sensitive right now, why? Shut up, I know you're fucking hiding something. You definitely have fucking secrets. Just tell me. Who's that? Stay here. Hold up! Gary, I've been looking for you. Well, here I am. How can I help you? Well, I was wondering if you're going to be moving out, we should discuss. What makes you think I'm moving out? Well, I haven't received the rent in two months. Oh, okay. So I'll write you a check tonight. I'll throw a little extra for a late fee. Are we done? At this point, I prefer a cashier's check or money order. Are we done? For now. Oh wait, actually there is one more thing. What? Dr. Sharon Chase, you know her? <laughs> yes. She's a dear old friend. Friend, oh. Okay, well, she made it seem like you were her patient. You should give her a call, she's been looking for you. You don't know what you're talking about. Don't worry, she didn't give me any personal information. Are you sure? Quite. You know, I don't like the way you do business. Well, if you don't like the way we do things around here, we can discuss a move out date. I'm glad you are. I'll expect to check by the morning. Thank you. What are you doing in the closet? None of your fucking business. Was that fucking Jabril? Does he know I'm here? Close. No. Does he know that you're seeing me? Whoa. What's up with all the questions? I just, I want to fucking know. I don't, there's certain people in town I don't want to see. So you and your bro have a pass? Yeah. Do you have my back or not? Shut up. Put your clothes on and let's go. Gonna get a drink. How long are you here for? I'll let you know. There's a few faces I'd rather not see while I'm here. Who's got you scared of these? Nobody. I'm not scared of anyone. Fear is good. Keep showing your toes. Nobody fucks with me in Easton. Why don't I believe that? Right, I may not be as physically fit as you, but I have my ways. Around me. I, need I can manage. I need pee. You get me a drink. Thanks to me and you here. I know you heard me. Look, you want some attention that bad? Coming from an attention whore himself. Dude, I really don't want to have to give you this overdue ass whipping. And Logan's not here to save you this time. Logan means something to you, not me. Man, take that same energy outside. How about that? Okay. Yeah. What? What's going on here? Oh, nothing. It's just this talk to this nobody. And I got your nobody. What's oh, is your that all you got? Him? Who are you? I'm his boyfriend. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> what? That's funny? What's funny? You just say, this ain't over here. What the fuck was that? 
Leave it alone. Why do you call it Gary? I don't know. You thought it was somebody else. He's drunk. I don't buy that shit for a second. Don't question me again, okay, you guys? I just saved your ass. I can handle myself. All right, I'm no angel either, but don't fuck up a good thing. All right, I got your back as long as you're honest with me. No more secrets. I wanna leave, let's go. Let me get a fucking drink. Struck a nerve. You're not so tough after all. Back up. But I thought you liked when I was close. Get the fuck out of my way. Really? What the fuck? Really? Stop! Stop it!
Don't give me a headache with all that banging. You okay? I was worried. I'm fat. Can't you tell? Mmm. <laughs> it's good taste. I'm mm, not like you. Hey, look in here. Kitchen. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> you know, let's party tonight. I've been cooped up way too long. Really? Thank fucking God, I've been dying to go to NYC. A friend of Chelsea? Uh oh, it's uh, all with everything. Mm, no. It's gonna be white clean to snow bags. You know what? Maybe we should go and get a guy and let him fuck us both. What do you say? No, you're weirding me out. <sighs> Fine, well you can fuck me too. You know, this hole hasn't been used in a very long time. This game is not cute. <sighs> I was serious. Okay, when you're done playing and cleaning out, let's go get ready. Fine. But first, let's have a tea time. You tell me yours, and I'll tell you mine. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> so, I am ready to spill it all, okay? Because I know you want to know his secrets, what he's been doing. Don't you want to know? Every last try, all the tea. What's with this drag race RuPaul personality? Drag race. Personality? <laughs> I'm Kashmir in the flesh. Are you kidding me? Don't you love it? I guess. So what will it be? Room number one, two, or three? Each one pretty much represents something fucked up that happened to Gary. And now you're referring to yourself in third person. Do you do a bump in the bathroom? No, I wish. So what will it be? Room one, two, or three? Three. Three. <laughs> That's a juicy one. Uh, well, never be alone in the room with Drake, especially if he's mad with you. It's lethal. What? Hello? Drake. I'm casual. What the fuck ever? Hello? What? You were telling me a secret? Blood. You're weirding me out. I'm gonna take a walk. Hold on. You can ask me if you could go. I don't need your permission. Yeah, you do. Take a chill. Thing. Let me go. Let me go! No, if you want to go, I'm going with you. Fuck no, get off of me. Who are you expecting? I'm going for it. Who is it? Who? Hi. What the fuck are you doing here, Logan? I thought we talk. About. So make it fast. You really are unbelievable. So I've been told. Gary, this isn't funny. I gave up my whole life for you. And I twisted your arm. You had nothing going for you but a book of empty dreams. <laughs> Wasted all on you. You know what? Loving you was the biggest mistake of my life. Feels good to say that, don't it? You know, because I've been thinking the exact same thing. You really are heartless. What's going on out here? Nothing there, you're just uh, talking to trash. Hey. Trash? Looks like the trash just walked in. Baby, go back to the room, okay? You went from salmon to tilapia. And you fucking him on my old sheets? You should probably get some new ones. So, you're the ex. No, <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> you can have him. You don't have to worry about me. Go back in the room, okay? 
said Sebastian's name, and days later he was found in your apartment building. Are you sure I said Sebastian? I don't remember. I know exactly what you said. Maybe that's what you wanted me to say. You're the psychotic, not me. <laughs> then do you know how crazy you look? Point that gun at me. I'm the innocent. I'm innocent. Take your grievances up with the police. Shoot me. And you'll be the one going to jail. So, what will it be? You know, I'm, I'm so sorry. You know, maybe after hearing all those horror stories from patients, I'm um, drove you mad. You know, this pill for I promise on my brother's life that you will go to jail. Okay. So help me God, Gary. <laughs> Who's that? I'm Drake. Okay. And just so you know, Gary no longer resides here. Don't be upset because you breathe life into this beast. Gary. Drake. Whoever you are. I promise you that I will get revenge for my brother's murder. I'll put you in a grave myself. Just know when uh, I'm seeing that revenge. Be sure you get this. Yeah! Okay. Just don't shoot me in the back. showing up. All hell breaking loose, not to mention your fucking Denzel and Shanae yeah. Drop it, okay? I told you I'm fine. Just be honest. If you did something, let me know. You can trust me, I'm not judging you. I'm fine, okay? Drop it! 
No, you're fucking clearly not. Are you fucking crazy? Do you have a few screws loose? I'm not allowed to tie myself either. Oh my god, no! Drop it. You are giving me a headache. Oh, I need a drink. Why are you talking like this again? Talking like what? I want to talk about how you nag, 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 nag. Who the fuck are you? Are you fucking crazy? Are you fucking crazy? The people in Gary's head are crazy, but I'm not. Okay. Gary, Drake, whoever the fuck you are. Enough. <laughs> My name's Kashmir. Cash for short. <laughs> Kashmir. What's so funny about that? How many of you are there? Hmm. Let's see. One. You know, I don't know. It's just, all I know is when it's me, it's all about me. Me, me, me. So Drake's not Drake. He's Gary. Yeah, Drake is Drake and Gary's Gary. Yeah. But Drake's a personality, right? <sighs> yes, but we're all different. Think of us as like a... Large pizza pie with every individual slice. What made Gary like this? Something really fucked up that happened to him as a kid. He couldn't handle it, so he used us to cope. But you married that with me. Have you been to a therapist? Who, Gary? Yeah. For years now. I'm glad he did because I haven't been out. I miss the fun. The boys. This is too much. I heard crazy. I am fucking crazy, but this is a fucking lot. This takes a fucking key. I need to get you some help. Help? The only help I can use from you is. Helping me pick out my clothes, but by the looks of it, I can do that on my own. Bye. No. No, from where I'm standing, you need help. Two. Getting this three ring circuit under control. This isn't normal. Oh my god, who cares? <sighs> Normal's boring. These clothes are boring. <sighs> Let's go shopping. You ready? Fix it. Or I'm out. <laughs> Is that a threat? No. I'm just saying the obvious. This is... It's too much for anyone to handle. I'm leaving this town. And you. <laughs> Get out of my way. No. Move. Move. Get no. Let me go. Just stop. What are you? Get off. Uh, uh. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Get out of why you made me do it? <laughs> Come on in. Uh, can you have a seat? Um, I really appreciate you coming. Miss Chase, um, I was actually pretty shocked that Jabril had me call you. And then after seeing Gary yesterday, I'm starting to regret even coming here. Where you saw him? Yeah, with his new boyfriend. Who, Alex? Oh, well, let me find out he was telling you about his ass during you guys' sessions together. I can't disclose details, but I am very alarmed. I don't even know him anymore. I don't know how much Gary told you about why he came to see me. Well, I mean, he's been battling anxiety since we met. I mean, he had it under control until we moved here. Yeah, I wish it was just that. Are you insinuating that it was something worse? Not insinuating. Okay, look. I can't help you. I'm sorry. I'm just tired of trying to pull him off the ledge. 
Okay, maybe you should go and talk to his new boyfriend at the apartment. Logan, I need you to sit there and listen to everything I'm about to tell you, and please know that it's all the truth. Okay. Yeah, and that's how that happened, but unfortunately, I only got a few loose screws. I mean, all that shit y'all was talking, I wanted to beat his brains in. Why didn't you? The new boyfriend here stopped me. <laughs> he moves fast. Hey, I wouldn't sweat it, though. I won't after I get him one-on-one. -on -one. It's not worth it. Well, you can speak for yourself. I don't let nobody think they can get away with talking to me sideways. Look, if I beat up every single person that disrespected me, I'd be in jail. Well, does this have something to do with Logan? Damn, you know him too? Uh, only through Gary. It's crazy that this whole time we had Gary in common. I mean, what are the odds of that? It's Eastern. It's small as hell. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary with him? Besides him being his normal asshole self? No, not really. Why? I finally saw Sharon. Billy. Where's she been at? Well, apparently in town. She's kept a real low profile. And Sebastian's death hit her hard. Yeah, figures. I mean, he was pretty much all she had. I mean, we had our ups and downs, but surely definitely didn't deserve that. She thinks she knows who killed him, too. Oh, yeah, who? I'm going to respect her privacy and not say anything until charges are brought up. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's pretty fucked up if it's true. No snitching. I didn't know niggas like you did that. What do you mean? Well, where I come from, we got rules. There's no trust in the cops and definitely ain't no snitching. It's a little different, though. Cops haven't done anything. They never do. I mean, cops do so much shady shit, she better watch her back. Why you say that? She's a female and she's by herself. I mean, the cops can do some fucked up shit. I'm gonna watch her back, even if she acts like she doesn't want me to. I, mean, I know you rock with this bitch, but would she really do the same for you? Maybe, maybe not. I don't make decisions based on what people would do for me. I don't want you to feel some type of way, though. Like, this is so unreal. DID, multiple personalities, murder? Like, I can't. Oh, and I understand how this must make you feel. But you have to know that I have been crippled by this for months. My brother is gone. But hopefully we can prevent him from hurting somebody else, or worse. But if what you're saying is true, then maybe he needs a little bit more help than you can offer him. I mean, maybe we should bring him to a hospital. He needs to go to a prison. But you just said he had a disorder. He's sick. Yeah, he still committed a crime. If Gary was well, he would have done this. My brother's dead. Gary is sick, but it's up to courts to decide how to handle it. Logan, I need your help. How are we going to feel if he does this again and we could have prevented it? You really should lock your door. Hello, Drake. Thank you for coming. Where's Logan? I don't know. You stupid bitch. <sighs> he told me that he was here and you were talking shit about me. You can't control what someone shares about you. It's been my job as a protector to make sure that if anything goes bad, I handle it and eliminate it. Is that why you killed my brother and dumped his body in your basement? What did Sebastian do to you, Drake? Help me understand. <laughs> You're really a cunning bitch. You know there's no proof, as you know. So why do you keep trying to pin it on me? Oh, I see. It's because I'm a black man, huh? <laughs> well, you are a black man. Just not a strong one. Gary is the strong one. I just want to thank him. Thank him for fucking what? For getting rid of my brother. He was weak. 
and naive. Two qualities I hate in a man. You fucking bitch. I'm the strong one. I'm the strong one. <laughs> is, is that why you have to do all the talking? I see all this bravado and nothing to back it up. Prove to me that you're the man. Have Gary tell me. Gary. Stop. Gary. Fucking bitch, stop it. Come on out. Shut up. I want to talk to you, Gary. I want to find out if Drake's telling the truth. <sighs> Make it stop. Come on, Gary, you can come out. Oh, please stop. You can come out and talk to me. No, please You can come out and tell me that you killed my brother and not Drake. Make it stop. I'm here to help you, Gary. Come out. Oh. Who's locked inside? Who's locked inside, Gary? Unlock the door and come out, Gary. You won't hurt anyone. Gary wants to come out and tell the police that it was him who killed my brother. You're weak, and he isn't. Gary said! Gary needs my help. That's why you're here. No. Actually, I'm here to kill you, just like I did your friend Alex. Yeah. I squeeze his pure little neck, just like I did your brother. Two weak bitches that thought they could get over me! I can't allow you to hurt anybody again! We're doing this again. Yeah! Go ahead, bitch. Shoot me. You ain't got the boss to do it. Go ahead. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't shoot him. Please. Wait, so you are here. Don't shoot him. Sharon. I can't allow him to hurt anybody again. Sharon. Do it. Sharon. Shoot Look at me. me. Look Go to jail. Shut up. Look at me. You don't want to do this like this. I understand how you feel. But this is not the way. did this to you, who damaged you, or who's inside of it, but I know the real Gary is right here. Look at me. I know he's in there. Let me help you. Please. Just let me help you. It'll be a public shot, but it's pretty good. I mean, I almost didn't make the deadline, but how do you to thank that for? Yeah, you do nothing. You had my back. And even through the roughest times that I've had recently. Thank you. Of course. Just so when the time comes for you to turn a favor, you're there for me. Well, whenever you decide to give me that time, I'm going to use it. <laughs> Look at us. <laughs> Never thought we'd end up like this. Like what? I don't do relationships and dating, but... Mm. Something kept me coming back. <laughs> so that's all you want from me? Maybe. Yeah, I'm just fine, sir. You always on playtime. I'm trying to be serious. Speaking of serious, mm -hmm. doesn't it feel just like a little bit weird that two niggas died here? 
Hmm. Well, it should feel a little bit weird pointing that out that you uh, had sex with one of the two niggas that died in here. <laughs> but no, honestly, um, I try not to think about it so much. You know, I kind of cut a deal with the landlord and, you know, I kind of look at it as starting fresh. You know how I feel about Gary, though. Mm. I just hope he throw the book in the fry's ass, man. Stop. I mean, whatever happens to Gary, I just hope that he gets the help that he needs. Mm. Let me show you something I'm working on. Okay. Peter, how are you? I'm okay. Real question is, how are you? After everything that happened, I don't know if I'll ever be okay as a whole again. Did you hear about Gary? Yeah, I heard they're keeping him in the uh, psychiatric prison until the trial starts. You know, you'd think as a licensed doctor and the oath I took, you'd think it'd bring me some peace to know that he's getting help. But hearing that just makes me think that maybe justice won't be served. Wait a minute, I'm confused. You said out of your own mouth that he's sick and that he needs help. Yeah, I did. I just... I can't help but wonder sometimes how much of what happened was just... Gary. I think I've learned that some people are just born evil. And maybe... Gary is that pure evil. In the end, all will change. Things you've lost, people you've loved, will all be echoes in your mind to make room for new beginnings. <laughs>